Today's term is distinction bias. Well, let me tell you something. Less is more. How? How is it possible? Well, let's consider this example. There are two sets of dishes. Set A include four complete dishes and set B include four complete dishes plus four cups, which two of them are broken. So, well, what should I do with it? Now, if I asked you to price set A and set B, what would you say? Normally, you pay more for set B than set A because at least you get extra two cups. So you might pay $32 for set B and $30 for set A. But the result is completely reversed when we show each set separately to people. If I show you set A individually and tell you to give a price you would tell $30. If I show another person set B individually, he would price it $15 because the set is not complete. He expects a complete set, so he gives a lower price. Well, yes, I want a complete set, not a defective one. Well, this is joint evaluation versus separate evaluation. This experiment showed us that less is more. The set that had less dishes were priced more in joint evaluation. Okay, let me give you another example. For example, if I gave you two options, a job with $60,000 a year and another option, a boring job with $70,000 a year, or another case, a 400 square house, but far away from your workplace, or a 300 square house but close to your workplace. Which one would you choose? Well, I know it's hard. Making decisions in life is so hard. So let me help you. If you want to decide better, you must consider each option separately from the other one. If you take a job that pays $10,000 more, you would not be happier 10,000 level more. By comparing these two options, you would be irrationally sensitive to the details that didn't matter to you if you considered them separately. So in this case, let me tell you about my personal experience. Well, there was a time that we wanted to buy a new TV. So it was a time that 3D movies were everywhere. All the box office movies had a 3D version for themselves. So we had two options, whether to buy a 3D TV with a smaller size or a bigger size TV with no 3D option. Well, to make it short, we bought the 3D one, but unfortunately, we only used it five or six times. And also, the 3D industry vanished over time. So, what I'm trying to say is that we often mispredict of our future satisfaction. We are not always good at knowing what will make us happy in the future. Remember that this bias is such an important one because every day we are encountered with numerous options like this. So anytime from now on, if you've confused to whether to choose this option or that one, I should tell you that you should consider each option separately and do not compare options with each other. Because after all, we have to live with the options that we chose. So it's better to live with it before you choose that option. Hey okay, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget that I will post weekly about this book, Thinking Fast and Slow. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep it safe and peace out.